during the vice president's speech, former President Donald Trump was busy criticizing her on his Truth Social account. He made baseless claims that she hates Israel and caused Hamas to attack Israel on October 7th. Today, the former president goes between Nevada and Arizona. He'll first speak at an event in Las Vegas touting his no tax on tips policy before he heads to Arizona for a rally co-hosted by the Turning Point PAC. Yesterday, Trump visited the Arizona border to talk about immigration. CBS News polls show 72 percent of registered voters believe border crossings will decrease if Trump wins, while only 21 percent say the same of Harris. During his visit, Trump spent time attacking his opponent's immigration policy. She wants our country. I don't understand why anybody would want it, but she wants our country to be open to the world's criminals. She's the most radical left person who has ever run for high political office in our country's history. Meanwhile, the former president says a special guest will join him later on today in Arizona. That news comes as Robert F. Kennedy Jr. filed papers yesterday to remove his name from the ballot in Arizona. And speculation swirls over the independent candidate ending his campaign today and then throwing his support behind Trump. CBS News campaign uh, reporter Jake Rosen is joining me now from Washington to talk a little bit more about the Trump Vance uh, campaign. Uh, so let's talk a little speculation here. What could an endorsement from RFK Jr. mean for Donald Trump in, you know, despite all the enthusiasm that we saw at the DNC, at least according to the polls, this is still a really, really tight race. Well, good morning, Anne-Marie, and absolutely, this is why the Trump campaign is embracing a potential RFK endorsement, because of just the tens of thousands or potentially hundreds of thousands of votes in some of these swing states that would decide the election. And, you know, according to our CBS News polling, in a state like Michigan or a state like uh, North Carolina, Donald Trump is ahead or could be ahead with the support of RFK and if all of his voters go from supporting Mr. Kennedy to Donald Trump. Now, the Harris campaign says that in a new memo this morning that the race change, changes by no factors if RFK endorses Trump and that Harris supporters are, Harris is getting some support as well from RFK supporters if he were to drop out and those supporters were to vote elsewhere. We'll have to see exactly what happens. But Donald Trump said it is a possibility there's some appearance between the two of them today in Arizona. Donald Trump simply could not uh, sit on his hands during Harris's speech last night. I, I, I think I read that it was something like three dozen posts on Truth Social or one of the platforms. Anywho, uh, we know that Harris urged Americans to consider what she called the extremely serious consequences of putting Trump back in the White House. How is he responding? Well, we saw in those three dozen or so posts, in addition to calling into Newsmax and Fox News, Donald Trump railed against the speech, criticizing it for being short, as we know Donald Trump's speech was over an hour and a half, but also mocking her positions on things like, uh, you know, Israel and Ukraine, but also talking about how she spoke about her interactions with world leaders. Donald Trump also took to have to kind of defend himself against the allegations that Kamala Harris made about things like Project 2025, that conservative think tank. Trump said he had no idea what's in the book, he has not read it, and he has no idea and does not want to know what's in the book, trying to really double down to his base that he wants and has nothing to do with these kind of accusations that Kamala Harris levied last night. All right, Jake Rosen, thank you.